Well, Ukraine's President Petro Poroshenko has urged NATO to send ships to the Sea of Azov in an interview with Germany's Bild newspaper. Uh, let's get some more on this. Uh, our correspondent Maeve McMahon joins us to do that. Uh, she's in Brussels this morning. Good morning, uh, Maeve. Are we seeing uh, from Poroshenko here a real uh, effort to try to get intervention from NATO? Absolutely. It's a direct cry for help. Quite dramatic uh, words com coming from Petro Poroshenko when he spoke to Bill uh, yesterday. He said that he believes that Vladimir Putin is trying to annex his whole country and he's calling on the international community to help as soon as possible. And he's a direct message for the German Chancellor Angela Merkel. He's praised her for her role back in 2014 when uh, Russia annexed Crimea and her role then in the Minsk Accords. He said that she's a great partner and friend to Ukraine and he hopes that she and all NATO allies will really come on board and send uh, ships in. Uh, what we've heard so far from Germany is they've called for a de-escalation of the crisis. Petro Poroshenko even went a step further, further asking German uh, to stop the Nord Stream 2 gas uh, line project. As you can imagine, that didn't go down well with German officials. They said that they would not do that and it was premature also, they said to start talking about sanctions, a discussion that's being had here as well in Brussels at uh, ambassadorial uh, level. And Maeve, uh, Ukraine is not a member uh, of NATO, so can it expect NATO's help? No, it's not a, a member of NATO, so it cannot trigger neither Article 4 nor 5 um, of NATO, which means um, other member states of NATO would help immediately and send reinforcements. Uh, Ukraine has said many times, though, it does want to be a member. That's one of its main aspirations. And Petro Poroshenko, in an interview to Euronews, in fact, yesterday said that NATO had promised that it would um, allow for this and that...